Hello, good afternoon, it's Dr. Karen and we have another great email to share with you today. This is from uh, Kelsey and she says, I have already purchased the Hormone Heaven. I'm 47 and no longer get my period. I, start with one, I started with one pump in the morning and one pump in the evening. I've only been using it for about a week so far. I'm interested in the Happy Hoo Hoo product, but since in your videos you say some of the DHEA converts to estrogen, are they able to be used together or would you recommend that I choose one over the other? I was not sure if you would get too much estrogen if you use both products together. Thank you, Kelsey. Excellent question, and I'm so glad that I got this from you. And by the way, thank you for watching my videos and reading the Facebook post because obviously you are reading and listening. And this is great because you said in some of your videos, DHEA converts to estrogen. So here's a tidbit that I have never shared with anyone in a post before that I can recall. And this is really, really important. So what happens to DHEA in women who are postmenopause and what happens to DHEA in women who are premenopause are two different things. This is super interesting and I'm so glad you asked the question. So if you have not been through menopause, now remember menopause is a whole year without a period. Okay, so if you have not been through menopause, your DHEA is converted to both testosterone and estrogen, estradiol and estrone. Okay, your DHEA is converted into those other hormones in two different organs. Your DHEA converts to testosterone in the adrenal glands and your DHEA is converted to estrone in your ovaries. That's if you haven't been through menopause yet. Okay, so you have both the op opportunity to increase both of those hormones through using some DHEA. That's good and that's bad, but it's still there, right? Now, what happens after menopause? This is interesting. After menopause, guess what happens? DHEA hardly has any conversion at all to estrogens at all. It does, however, convert to testosterone in the adrenal glands, but because the ovaries are not really functioning after menopause, there is not a conversion to estrogen. Now, this is something that I have not shared on Facebook yet. So this is my first opportunity to do so. And so I'm excited to tell you that. So your question, will you get too much estrogen? No, not likely for two reasons. I wanted to share that because that was exciting. But one, because your DHEA doesn't convert to estrogen after menopause but also it doesn't convert inside the vagina. It has to travel to the, it has to be systemically absorbed, which doesn't happen much in the vagina. When you use a vaginal suppository, not much is absorbed systemically. So you're not really increasing your DHEA levels very much, but what does get absorbed, which is only a small amount, has to go to the ovary and the adrenal glands to convert to the other hormones. So what little gets absorbed of the DHEA from the happy hoo-hoo has to travel to the adrenal glands and then get converted to testosterone and has to travel to the ovaries and then get converted to estrone. Now, so after menopause, that won't happen. You'll get a little higher, tiny, tiny, little bit higher testosterone, but you won't get any estrogen. Um, and this happens the same. This is the same if you take DHEA orally. And this is why I was excited about your question because I got to answer something that I had not yet answered before. Okay, so I hope that helps you and I will see you soon. Keep sending the questions. Bye-bye.